Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and updates on global defense efforts. In today's video, we will be discussing the European-German partnership's role in modernizing the defense of the Philippines amidst rising concerns over China's aggression in the region. The European-German partnership has been actively working with the Philippines to enhance their defense capabilities. Through joint training exercises and exchange programs, European and German military forces have been sharing their expertise with their Filipino counterparts. This cooperation aims to strengthen the bonds between European nations, Germany, and the Philippines, thereby ensuring the security and stability of the region. China's escalating activities in the South China Sea have raised concerns not only for the Philippines but also for countries in the region. Europe and Germany have stepped up their partnerships, understanding the crucial need to maintain peace and freedom of navigation. The European-German partnership is focused on modernizing the Philippine Defense Forces, providing necessary equipment, and enhancing their capabilities to effectively respond to various security challenges. Through this collaboration, the Philippines is gaining access to advanced technology, intelligence sharing, and capacity building, bolstering their defense against potential threats. The European-German partnership also promotes shared values, such as respect for international law and rules-based order, ensuring the peaceful resolution of disputes in the South China Sea. In these challenging times, it is essential for nations to work together towards peace and security. The European-German partnership is an example of international cooperation that aims to safeguard the interests of the Philippines and the entire region. As we conclude, we would like to extend our gratitude for joining us in this insightful video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on global defense efforts. Thank you for watching. Rainmetal is one of the world's foremost makers of advanced air defense systems. The company leads the global market in automatic cannon based air defense and is the sole system supplier able to offer fire control technology, automatic cannon, integrated guided missiles, and ahead airburst ammunition, air surveillance, and tracking radars round off the portfolio. The company has more than 50 years experience in the design, development and manufacturing of radar systems. Furthermore, Rainmetal develops innovative solutions in the domain of public security, for instance for drone defense, the complex requirements imposed on short and very short-range air defense have become much more complex in recent years. Both quantitatively and qualitatively, the air threat continues to mutate and multiply. Increasingly, the emphasis is on unmanned air vehicles and precision guided munitions that are smaller, faster and more agile than ever, only the most sophisticated air defense systems can stop them. Today, civil infrastructure needs to be defended too, particularly from terrorist attacks, ground forces all over the world therefore count on Rainmetal's state-of-the-art air defense solutions. Fully automated and extremely effective, our high-performance systems are ideal for protecting forward operating bases and other high-value assets from modern asymmetric threats. Thanks to the company's AHEAD technology, they can take out even the smallest targets, Rainmetal advises and supports clients on fielding and maintaining new and existing weapon systems. We include training programs and supply combat performance upgrades to extend the useful service life of systems and equipment. For example, aging automatic cannons can be retrofitted with advanced AHEAD technology. Ammunition, individual weapons and complete air defense systems all undergo comprehensive testing at the company's proving ground at Oxenbaden in Switzerland. Europe eyes the Philippines as Asian security anchor, strategic ties between European countries and the Philippines are set to grow as leaders recognize the importance of countering China's rising military activity near Taiwan and the South China Sea, amid improving military ties with the United States and Japan. The Philippines appears ready to also include European countries within its security architecture as it steps up opposition to Chinese belligerents in the South China Sea, a new EU. Philippine Subcommittee on Maritime Cooperation was formed last week, around the same time that a senior French military official visited Manila to appeal for greater military cooperation, analysts reckoned that under Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who took over as president 12 months ago, the Philippines has reverted to its more traditional pro-Western alignment and taken a more assertive stance in the South China Sea, a maritime area of global economic importance. China claims nearly the entire South China Sea as its territory and there are ongoing tensions over Chinese Coast Guard vessels exerting control, for example, over maritime resources like fishing grounds. In response, 
the United States and other Western countries carry out. Freedom of navigation exercises in the disputed waters. In early March, Washington announced that it was engaged in talks with Manila to hold joint South China Sea patrols with the Philippines as well as with Australia and Japan. Europe eyes a larger security role. Around the same time, the EU's special envoy to the Indo Pacific region, Richard Tibbles, said during a visit to Manila that the bloc has a strong interest in making sure that freedom of navigation and overflight continue and that the global trading system is not affected by increasing tensions in the region. The EU and the Philippines agreed to continue to work together closely and stand up for the rules-based international order, the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity and non-aggression, the post-meeting summary stated. Also last week, the French Joint Commander of the Asia-Pacific and the French Armed Forces, Rear Admiral Geoffrey D. Andine, visited Manila to underscore France's interests in improved security relations, during a meeting with the Philippines Foreign Affairs. Secretary Enrique Manalo, D. Andine reportedly invited the Philippine Army to take part in joint exercises in French Polynesia and New Caledonia for disaster relief training, and to improve their information-sharing capabilities. Maintaining maritime freedom near the Philippines, several European navies have engaged in freedom of navigation exercises in the South China Sea, and Germany announced in May that it would send a two-ship task force to the area next year after Manila said in March that it would make public maritime incidents in its claimed areas of the South China Sea, following harassment by the Chinese Coast Guard. The German ambassador to the Philippines praised the move and pledged more support from Berlin, we need to strengthen partnerships with like-minded countries in the region. This can involve cooperation on maritime security, information sharing, joint military exercises and cooperated diplomatic efforts. Ambassador Ank Riefenstuhl said at a press conference, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development estimated last year that around 3 trillion euros, 3.26 trillion dollars, worth of trade, or 21% of total global commerce, passed through the South China Sea in 2016. The EU and European powers have a vital interest in upholding freedom of navigation in the South China Sea, a crucial sea lane of communication for Europe, said Alfred Gerstel, an expert on Indo-Pacific international relations at the University of Vienna. At the moment, however, it's an uphill battle for European countries to prove their commitment. Even the French maritime presence in this area, which is the strongest among the European powers, is still severely limited, Gerstel told DW. Naval and security cooperation with Southeast Asian nations is therefore crucial, he added. Philippines build strategic partnerships. In early February, Manila agreed.